Right, we're now going to move into trickier ground, trying to work out the idea of re reverse or using the idea of reverse percentages. So an example would be we've got a new price. The new price after a 30% increase is £390, and we're being asked to work out the original price. Now I'm hoping a little picture here might help you to understand what's going on here. If we consider the original price, a little box there, we're going to call the original price the 100%. That's what it was, so we're going to call that R 100%. That's what we're trying to find out. To that original price, 30% was added. So we've added on 30%. So our new price, which is £390, actually represents, and this is the tricky part, 100 plus 30%, actually 130%. It's 130% of the original price. Now, method to try and work out the original price is we know that 130% represents £390. So to work out 1% we divide 390 by 130 and that conveniently works out to be £3. So we know that 1% is £3 then 100% will be 100 times whatever 1% is. So it will be 100 times £3, which will be £300. So the original price is £300, and you can work back to check whether this really makes sense. Because we know that 10% of £300 is £30, and therefore 30% will be £90. And if we add that on, that £90 onto our original price of 300 we end up back with the new price right at the beginning of £390. So really the trick here is to re think of the original price of being the 100% and then the increase is, is added to that original price. Continuing the idea of reverse percentages, we're now going to look at an example where prices have all been reduced by 20%. You've seen the signs in shops, typical typical sale. In the sale, a TV's price was reduced from, uh, from its original price down to £480. And we're going to try and work out what the original price was. So once again, we need to think of the original price as being the 100%. That's what we're trying to find out. That's the original price. The sale price was 20% off. So we're knocking off 20% and therefore that will leave us 80%. Okay, so 100% take away the 20% leaves us 80%. And the 80% price is the sale price of £480. So 80% is equivalent to £480. So another way of doing this is to find 1%. So to find 1%, we would divide 480 by 80. So 480 divided by 80, which equals £6. And to find 100%, we multiply the 1%, which was £6, by 100, 6 times 100, which equals £600. So the price before the sale was £600. And if we were to work out 20% of 600, well, 10% would be 60, therefore 20% would be 120. 600 minus 120 will give us the sale price of 480 pounds.